For over 20 years now, Pirelli has been my go-to tyre, no matter what the bike. I had STs on the Grisso for quite some time and they finally wore out, so I replaced them with Pirelli Angel GTs and here's my thoughts on them. Hey everyone, welcome to Roads of Oz. My name is Matt and on this episode we're talking about Pirelli's Angel GT. Not to be mistaken for the Pirelli Angel GT2s, but the GTs. Now, it gets a bit confusing, but what Pirelli are doing lately is when they release a tire, they're still manufacturing the previous tire. You've got one similar tire in three different types for Pirelli. You've got Pirelli's STs, which is their previous GTs, there's a Pirelli GT and a Pirelli GT2, which is the latest and greatest in the GT range. So a quick search on, on the web finds the Pirelli STs at $489.95, the Pirelli GTs at $599.95, and the Pirelli GT2s at $679.95. So it's very important when you're actually getting a price over the phone to know what GTs you're getting. Now, a while back I'd done the review on the STs and I was very happy with them. Well, the GTs are no different. I replaced the ST he's out of necessity and I think I said that in the previous video I got caught I'd wore the STs down too far and top tip if once you get to the um, the wear nub on the tire indicator get it changed it wears away really quickly afterwards I was stuck up at Singleton and the only thing they had available was the GT so I put fit the GT on the rear and a few weeks later I swapped out the, the ST for the GT on the front the Pirelli Angel GT was a fantastic tyre. I took it touring, I took it on the track, and it performed extremely well. More than capable for my ability and also the bike's capability. And as we all know, the bike is generally much higher than your own capability. No issue, no slip, no problem. In the wet, they were very good. Uh, they, they felt very steady on the road. And the wear I got out of the GTs was quite good. And we're going to talk about that. And are they better value than the STs? When I'd done my big trip to Tassie, I rode down to Melbourne. And I still had the Pirelli Angel GTs on them. And I put them through absolute hell. Now, the reason I changed them over was because I was doing a track day at Phillip Island. And I wanted some very good tread. Now, the GTs are good tread, but they were getting close to the wear limit. And I didn't want to get knocked back by the scrutineers on the track day or were still just shred the tyres down to nothing and then not be able to swap them out. So I got ahead of it for a change and changed them early. As I said, the GTs, I'd put about 12,000 kilometres on them. They probably had another two to 3,000 in them if I rode conservatively. It, and like I say, it depends on a number of factors, your riding style, the bike. What I mean by that is the power and the weight. They all contribute to the wear and tear on the bike. Also, if you maintain them, keep them at the right tyre pressure. And I'm notoriously bad for maintaining tyre pressures on bikes. I still managed to get 12,000 Ks out of them. And I expected I would have got close to the 15,000 kilometre mark uh, with my style of riding, which I'm not overly fast, but I do like the throw it in the corners. So which one do you get? You've got the choice of three. Well, it just comes down to price. In all honesty, the price gradient and the wear radiant were identical. So if you're on a tight budget, the STs will do just fine. If you've got a bit of extra cash and you want to get a bit of longer life out of the tyres, definitely go the GTs. And I expect the GT2s are just uh, that little bit better. But I'm not sure, haven't tested those ones yet because I ended up going the Michelin 6s out of, just because they were recommended to me and I wanted to try them. Why do they have such a choice? Well, my guess is it's just return on investment. And the old STs were the original GTs and it starts getting confusing, but if you look at the STs there, they're, they're the older models. They're still getting, they're still making money and they will, I imagine they will keep producing them till they're no longer economical to produce. That will either be due to the price getting pushed down because of the newer, because of um, better developed tyres or the machinery will be due for renewal that makes the tyres and that's when they'll eventually drop the range. Now, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the STs. I can't recommend them high enough, especially if you're on a budget and you, if you're on a bit of a tight budget, that they would be the tyres I'd be going for. Excellent group, good longevity, but just know they will wear out faster than the GTs. So there you have it. It really comes down to your budget. Now the GT2s, even though I haven't used them yet, the price for them are up there with the Michelin Road 6s. So 
um, they've got some decent competition. Now, I normally buy these tyres when they're for sale as a package deal and they've got a sale on them. Like the STs I got very cheap. I think it was they were under $400. The GTs, I paid close to 600 bucks for the pair of them, but I did buy them individually out of necessity. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Doesn't matter which way you go, just be aware the STs wear out quicker, but they will give you excellent grip. The GTs will last longer. They do justify their price. When you compare price compared to wear, they are very a very similar tire. Maybe the GTs have that touch better grip, but for the amount of the style of riding I did, I didn't notice any real difference. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your experiences are with the Pirelli Angel range. And also, if you want me to do a review on the Michelin Road Pilot 6s, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next vid.